That looks so good in there, Doug. I'm so glad that Mike kept the front end off so that we can make this much easier for both of us. Oh my God, it, it, it's been so easy to get to everything. With the front end off, you can sit down, you can reach it all, you can get to everything you need, and you don't have to worry about scuffing anything up. I mean, it's fantastic. Absolutely, and Wade, you did a great job on these carburetors and the distributor rebuild. This thing ran on the Easy Run engine test stand, no problem. And so when we get it all buttoned up with the exhaust, he's gonna come on set with us and tune it in with us, dial in the distributor and the timing. It's gonna really purr, I can't wait to see what it's gonna sound like with an exhaust system on it and what kind of power we're gonna make. Cause uh, I did ask Donna to hop it up a little bit. Man, I think this is gonna be absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to go out to that great race and get a running down the road. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And you know, anytime you guys are building a hot rod like this, you wanna make sure if there is the option of you being able to do this job with the front end off, it's gonna make it so much easier for you, right? Oh my God, it's so much easier. I mean, I've spent years leaning over cars, trying not to scratch them up, trying to get to stuff underneath. This way we can get to everything we need. It's simple, it's fast, it's so much easier. Yep, let's go on to the transmission. Get that buttoned up with the drive shaft in and continue with the fuel system. Sounds good, let's get after Installing it. Installing the transmission into our Hudson Hornet, and this is a little different than what we're both used to. The torque converter, I'm gonna be tightening down the torque, uh, the flywheel bolts or flex plate bolts. We're gonna torque them down. There's a little retainer right here that you push the tabs in and that's gonna lock our nuts in place because this is a two-piece torque converter. Right here is the gasket, probably the most important gasket in the car itself. This is gonna go in between the torque converter and the flex plate. And there's fluid, of course, is inside the torque converter. So what we're doing is making sure that we've gotten our bolts torqued down properly. Then we're gonna uh, move our retainer in place. And in that way, Doug and I can go ahead and put the transmission up in place and go ahead and bolt it together. Anytime you're torquing anything down, you always want to go back and retorque because by the time you get done tightening the last item, the first one's most likely going to be loose. Uh, take care of the nuts. We've got the retainer in place. Everything's locked down. We know it's good. We've got our sur surface cleaned up for this gasket that's going to be in between the two halves of the torque converter. Very important, there's a dial here and here, so the gasket's gonna be held in place by those two dials. Do not use glue on this gasket because it lives inside your torque converter and God forbid we contaminate the transmission fluid. What I wanna do is I'm gonna start it, not tighten it, just because there's so many of these to save time. We're gonna use power on the first round. On the second round, we're gonna go back with a fresh. Well, Doug, looks like we've got the transmission installed. Went without a hitch. It looks really good up under here. If you remember last season, this thing looked nasty under here. Looked like it had gone through mud. Oh, it was terrible. You know, I, I'm amazed at the way it looks. When we first looked at it, it was terrible, but this is fantastic. Absolutely, Mike did a great job. And I want to thank Paul Townsend from Paul's Transmissions of Baker City, Oregon for doing a fantastic job on rebuilding our old Hudson Hydromatic transmission. This thing has a fill cap on top of it, and there's an access hole through the floorboard underneath the carpet where we're gonna be using to fill up this uh, transmission. And the drive shaft is installed. Now, anytime you guys are doing a project like this, you always wanna do some beautification. Like if you notice, we powder coated the bell housing cover, we uh, powder coated the cross member and this cross member. And you know, when you're doing something like this and you got such nice things going on it, powder coating gives you longevity and it looks good for a long, long time. It's it looks Fantastic. You know, when Mike did such a wonderful, what was the name of his company? Lewis Rodden Customs. That sounds great. He did a wonderful job.